Hi guys, PJ here, and today we're we'll back with another PC game, looking at all the options and settings that are available for this particular game. Uh, that one being Sniper Elite 4, the latest in the franchise. These are sort of a double-A developer rather than triple-A developer, but uh, the content is very good. It's a very interesting game to play, and I'm sure some of the kill cams will, you know, amuse, shall we say. So I've not uh, not played the game at all. Uh, this is fresh off the bat. Uh, it's loaded straight into ultra wide. I've had to adjust nothing, so that's a good start. It does have ultra wide support. Okay, I'm going to go straight into the options and uh, and have a look. See, so game itself, we've got tutorials on and off, empty lung zoom. Some of these are a bit weird, aren't they? Aim assist, multiplayer score, simple yes and no on all these by the look of things. Yeah, there we go. Melee kill cam, normal, reduced, minimal, frequently, increased, normal, right, okay. I would imagine this one's the same. Yes, it is, right. Trap cameras, yes, no. Quick cameras, yes, no. Multiplayer cameras, I'm guessing. Yeah. X-rays, yes, no. Therefore, when you kill me, I mean, you see all the skull and everything inside. We'll leave that one on. Danger camera, yes, no. And of course, your privacy settings. They're totally up you to you. You wish to see. There we go. Privacy settings. Share game information. Yes or no. You know, it's to help the developers out, basically. You know, uh, sort of, they have an idea what system you've got and everything. So rather than them making a game for a very high end system that won't run on everybody else's, they can sort of get a middle ground for it. Okay, so controls. Uh, auto reload. Yes and no. Invert axis. Yes, no. Sensitivities there for all of them. Vibration on and off. Control layout. Okay, Xbox One controller there, very prominent. So, uh, yeah, that's good. I have actually got uh, a DS4 controller linked up at the moment and it hasn't detected it. Uh, that might be my system, but it's not looking like that. It is looking like the game only supports Xbox One. Hey ho, never mind. It's a good controller to use probably the best one to be blunt and that's not without supporting one brand over another it's just a preference okay so um mouse and keyboard layout yep wsad keys there we go standard issue uh mouse weapons are the same space empty lungs that must be so you can aim you know you press and hold space to aim and uh, we go what else have we got increased scope yeah traverse binoculars Pick up the body. God, there's a lot of stuff there, guys, to to change. All your guns, weapons there are on 1 to 9, as you'd expect. Navigation, M for map. Yeah, it's standard sort of stuff. You can tweak each one, though, to your own liking. Right. We'll leave or display till last, because that's obviously the bigger one. Master volume there, up and down. Music volume, speech, sound effects. Cutscene cut subtitles on or off. In-game subtitles on or off. Audio configuration. Hmm. Do we support surround sound? Let's have a look. No, but at least we have got some options. We've got headphones or headset, TV and full range. Hmm. No surround sound then. That's a shame. Never mind. Display. Ooh, that looks bare bones. Let's have a look then. Um, it's set my basic resolution there, which is your, your ultra wide. you got... 1080p or your common ones look 900p there which uh, Xbox One sort of resolution uh, what do we get down to by out of interest there's your 720p there you go that's minimum 1024 be 768 now of course if you've got super sampling uh, switched on you'll be able to go higher I've just got the uh, the the sort of basic ultra wide setting on at the moment no uh, no no dsr or anything activated okay so rendering scale it says here rendering scale modifies the internal frame buffer resolution at which the game renders values above 100 percent increase visual quality but will reduce frame rate values under 100 percent will increase frame rate but reduce visual quality in effect it's like a super sampling itself so in other words if you're in a 1080p display it's on 100 percent you are getting 1080 if you push that higher than that you are then going beyond 1080p and if you've got a 1080 monitor it will down sample to that so your images will look cleaner and nicer 
okay but only if your gpu is powerful enough to do that right we'll, we'll try it on default for now you know standard res that i'm using i'm already running ultra wide so that's obviously a hell of a lot more pixels than a normal 1080p display anyway uh and my graphics card not being the latest one this is running on an r9 290x which is a four gigabyte card uh that's got a clock of 1250 and it's got a memory clock of a thousand okay i'm on a fx 8350 eight core cpu running at 4.2 and we've got 16 gigabytes of ram running at 1833 the game is installed in a 7200 hard drive and windows 10 pro is installed on an intel ssd we're recording this on a samsung ssd using the radeon relive software so we shouldn't really have any any bottlenecks as such but then again we're not talking you know three two 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 three thousand pound system you know it's uh it's more realistic without blowing the bank graphics detail so we're on medium high ultra okay it was set to medium but i'll start high we'll go on we'll go on ultra yeah customized graphics detail yes let's what we got then texture detail ultra medium yeah these are all going to be the same aren't they yes they are just go through every single one high off high being the top one draw distance ultra yeah anastropic filtering 16 is going to be your highest for that interesting that that doesn't go in groups of two or four it's one at a time motion blur on and off ambient occlusion on and off tessellation on and off obscure fields hmm, not heard that one before i'll have to have a look what that does so go back uh advanced options vsync yes or no mine needs to be left to no because i've got a free sync monitor absolutely no point in switching it on all it would do is hinder my frame rate so uh you know if your monitor supports more than 60 hertz which a lot do mine does for example you you know you can you can run the higher one uh use async compute yes because i'm running the dx12 version of this game or your amd cards from sort of Oh, really old ones like 79 80 and above sort of thing support uh, async compute um, that's it that's all you oh, okay let's go back and load the game and see what it looks like okay so we'll go single player and new campaign uh, we're just testing it out we'll go Nah, we can't get that bad, can we? Good God. Let's go, go normal. Weapons. Okay. Preset Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. They're all the same. How do you change that then? Maybe we have to earn the main game. Anyway, let's see what the game looks like. <clears throat> it is nice to see all this ultra wide support nowadays. It's, uh, it's very positive. So we're loading in. We're on 2.4 gigabytes of VRAM on these settings. And like I say, bearing in mind, there is more pixels on an ultra-wide display than a normal display. Um, normal memory, which is about 9.5 gig. Can we skip? Yes, we can skip. We like skipping. Skip again. Okay, we're in. Uh, currently running at 83 frames per second. Bit of a drop there as it loads assets. We're down to 60 frames per second, roughly. Bear in mind this is maxed out though on the ultra wide display, so you know you got more pixels there uh, going on. Yeah, easy enough. VRAM, we're on 3.1 gigabytes of VRAM currently. And 10 uh, gigabytes of RAM. Reckon I could take this fellow down without making a noise. Nice. You're dead, mate. Anyway. Use binoculars. Use my binoculars to check it out. Okay. Can we go now? No, we can't. It wants us to do something. Tag the enemy and the glowing pulley. All right, where's the enemy? Oh, there he is. Right. 
Now we can probably shoot. I don't want to use the binoculars. Now what? Oh, there's another one, look. Should pay attention, really. We're going to try medium uh, settings after this and see how it drops. Okay, so let's pull up. What do we do now? Press Q. Yeah, we want the sniper rifle. Okay, we've got to shoot this and drop it on their edge, yeah? Here we go. Mouse keyboard controller at the moment, guys, rather than controller. Oh, that looks heavy. Yeah, they're dead. So there we go. Uh, lowest I've seen at the moment is 53 frames per second. Ooh. No, I don't do that. Hold on. Let's get over here and then we'll switch it over to medium settings. So nice and fast. Right. On to medium. Options. Display. Graphics detail. Medium. Back. Resume. Okay, we're down to... 2.3 oh, and a half gigabytes of VRAM now, and this is medium. Frame rate 92, well over the top to be honest. Yeah, so medium's not looking too bad, not bad at all. Um, frame rate's sort of way over the top though, you don't need, don't need it that high. Not bad looking at all on medium, quite playable. Okay, so let's see if we can get it under 2 gigabytes of VRAM for everybody that's got a 2 gigabyte card, yeah? I've got a boat down there, it's handy. Right, let's go. Options, display, and we'll go, oops, go down to low, yeah? Anything other than that, I'll have to start dropping the res down. I'd rather not do that. I always like to try and keep native res above sort of anything else. Let it load it in, there we go. Quick loading. Right, we're up to 100 and 100 and 304 frames per second. Ground texture seems to have taken quite a hit this time. Um, what are we on? 2.2 gigabytes of VRAM. No, there's not much in it between medium and low on the VRAM. It's just, uh, it looks a bit rough. 110 frames a second. Yeah. So let's drop it down to. What's going to do res wise? Let's have a look. Display. I'm going to have to go right down to. So let's go down to Xbox One resolution, yeah? And resume. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it's my display locking it. Uh, options. Display. Oh yeah, <laughs> you do have to click apply, don't you? Oh, dear me, missed that one, guys. Right, so this is Xbox One resolution. Uh, however, Xbox One does run medium and high settings. It does not run low. No, we're still at 2.174 uh, megabytes of VRAM. So um, you're not going to get this under two. Easily, if we go down to uh, okay, we'll go all the way down just to see what we can get it down to. Do this quickly all the way down 1024 with 768. Apply, yes, back, resume. Okay, we're on 114 frames per second, I think I saw that, and there you go, two gigabytes of VRAM. So it is possible, just, only just. Two gigabytes of VRAM, done. Because you'll have 2048 megabytes of VRAM if you've got a two gigabyte card. So you can play it, guys. Good news all round. 
Right, let's see if we can push it any higher than we first tried it. You know, max, max. Let's see if we can uh, just go a bit higher. Let's see if we can get it. I might activate the uh, DSR, down sampling and what have you. If it will, put it back all the way to lowest widescreen. And then go all the way back up to ultra. Okay. Let's just see how much VRAM this uses on a 1080p, shall we? Most mostly use display it. Let's go to that. Apply. Yes. And back. Resume. Okay. 1080p display. Normal display there. That gives you a good idea of how much uh, you guys are missing if you haven't got ultra wide. Well worth investing in on PC. Uh, it gives a lot more frames per second though. Look. We're on sort of 75 to 80 frames per second on 1080p. You know, that's, uh, that's quite a big difference. It's less pixels. Does look noticeably nice now, doesn't it? 3.25 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you've got a GTX 970, which has got the fast 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM and the slow 500 megabytes of VRAM, you can keep it just using the fast part of the card rather than chugging it to a halt, you know, to a halt. Mm, corpse. Search corpse. Press E to search. Yep, pressing E. Nothing happening. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just set this back to, to ultra wide again. Options. Display. We'll have a quick go of... Uh, down sampling it. Bear in mind that a 4K ultra wide down sample is actually a lot more than 4K, you know, uh, on a normal square monitor. Resume. There we go. FPS has dropped to 52, I saw there, I think. So it just goes to show how much more demanding the ultra wide displays are on your hardware compared to a normal 1080p. That's. Uh, Quite interesting. You are running a lot more pixels. Okay, so we go up here. I don't want to play too much uh, of this. Don't want to spoil it for anybody. Uh, it's not really a gameplay video. There's a lot of those out there already on YouTube. I don't really do gameplay ones unless I sort of get requested to do them. So if you do want to see this played, fair enough. But otherwise, this is more more sort of delving into your settings and stuff let's go up here see what's up here I'm harder to see in foliage and in shadow. okay yeah very good map wow that's a big area if we're at the start here there's a big area We'll just try a quick down sample, guys. So if I've activated uh, the DSR version of, uh, we know what uh, Radeon AMD have got. Let's see if it actually works or not. No, it's not there. And I have got it enabled in the uh, Radeon settings. So uh, no, no down sampling on this, I'm afraid. It's a shame. Never mind. It's quite a good looking game anyway, I'm sure you'll agree. Nice and fast. Doesn't lag, doesn't load in assets. You know, it's a good moving game. Nice one to the developers, really. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, you know, please click like. It's, uh, it's something I try and do frequently, these videos, and it does uh, spur me on to make more of them. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.